If you yourself cannot release, then it will come to take a piece. So Crypt TV came out with the fifth installment of Look See this week, and I was so freaking excited. I was so excited I had to draw Look See. <laughs> and if you do not know what Look See is, then you need to head on over to Crypt TV right now and watch all five episodes. Crypt TV is a YouTube channel that makes short horror films, and it is possibly one of the greatest channels on here. So they came out with this fifth installment, and I was excited. Super excited. <laughs> now, look is a little bit confusing, but that does not mean that I am not enjoying being very confused while also watching it. If anyone does not know, I love lore and legend and horror movies and whatnot, even though I know I can't really watch them too much because of my paranoia, I still do. And watching them in smaller doses like this, like Crypt TV gives me, actually helps tremendously. So a thank you, Crypt TV. So on to my drawing. So when I was drawing this one, I knew it was going to be one of those drawings that I was going to have to build up layers on just because of what the look -see looks like. I'm not really sure if look -see is his name, but that's just what I'm going to refer to him as. So I'm not, I don't really do a lot of building up of layers in my watercolors and in my inks. I probably would do that with my acrylics and whatnot, but with watercolors, I go for a much more simpler style, a much more cartoony style. So I was trying to stick to what he looks like, but also sticking to my style. He is a pretty cool character by design, I have to say. I love that he doesn't have eyes. That's pretty cool to me. I love his little um, fingerless gloves and his very, very super long fingers. Yeah, so either he's a pretty cool character design to me overall. So if you see what he looks like, then you know that he has a lot of layers to what he looks like. So I had to work on building up layers in my painting. And I think I succeeded at it, kind of. <laughs> I, think in, I think by looking at the drawing, you immediately know what it is, which means it's already a success because if you know what something is just by looking at it, you did your job. But he is a pretty recognizable character so did I do my job or is he a really good character I'm just gonna go with both now when I was drawing the gloves I wasn't really sure how to get the texture right but I think in the end I kind of achieved the check the texture of a glove hopefully I did if not I tried my best <laughs> I really did <laughs> I really did try to take my time with this one just because I like the character so much so the picture that I chose to draw is the, I believe this is the screenshot for the very first episode of Look See, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just go uh, have a Look See and check. Yeah, so season one, episode one, this is actually what we see when you look at, this is the thumbnail, <laughs> that's the word I was looking for. This is the thumbnail for the very first it's the very first video of look -see. and honestly this one and the second thumbnail for episode two are my favorite thumbnails but the second one was very dark even though it's a very cool picture it probably wouldn't be that much fun to paint just because it's very dark but this one i just think it's so creepy the first one was i mean i love them all but the first one was just like the first time you notice him the first time you see this character and he was so creepy so that's the one i chose plus it's just an overall very good picture to draw so I wanted to stick as closely as possible to the reference image and I think I got it pretty close I got I even did the little wallpaper background like only when I was done is when I noticed that okay so the one diagonal line going from the top of his head all the way to the bottom is in the right position I believe but the other line I don't think is where it's supposed to be the one that's like branching off of that one pretty sure it was supposed to be just a smidgen lower but either way I think it looks okay I was actually kind of afraid I wasn't gonna be able to finish this one because even though I just bought some new inks a 
12 set of inks it did not have a black ink in it and I mostly use that whole thing of black ink during inktober I have very little left I need to go restock but not thinking you know I tried to tip it over and pour some out and none came out so I had to like dip the brush inside the ink bottle luckily there was still some stuck in the bottom of that but if I did not have that I don't know what I would have done. Actually, I probably would have just used that cheap like acrylic paint because I do have some cheap craft acrylic paint. But you know, I don't really like to mix acrylics and inks. I don't mind mixing acrylics, inks, and gouaches. That's not what I meant to say. I don't mind mixing watercolors, inks, and gouaches. But acrylics is just a whole nother ball game. It's not water-based like it needs to be. It's like plastic-based or something like that, I believe. And it's not what I wanted. So I'm happy I had a little bit of uh, black ink left. I really, really tried to get the color on those gloves correct, and I don't think I managed it. Because they're like red, but they're a little orange and also a little burgundy. But either way, it still looks like him, so I did the thing. I put the paint on the picture and I did the thing. So I don't want to say he's like one of my favorite drawings from this year, but he's kind of one of my favorite drawings from this year. <laughs> Only thing is, I do wish that I would have put the, the stall just a little bit lower because I didn't want his head to be that close to the top of the paper and I didn't want to show that much of the stall. I wish there was less of the stall and more of the wall. <laughs> I'm a rapper. No. <laughs> I do wish there was less of the stall and more of the wall though. And I wish, you know, just a little bit more headroom. I feel like that would have made the composition a little bit better than what it is at the moment because there's just a lot of blank space at the bottom mostly I was worried I wouldn't get to fit his fingers in because his fingers are super long so I was worried about fitting those in so I gave myself too much room and now his head is almost at the top of the page but you know it's already done so I can't change that unless I cut the paper and I don't want to cut the paper then it's just gonna throw all the throw the ratio off I can never find the word I'm looking for ratio that's the word I wanted it'll throw the ratio off but either way I think he looks great it might just be because I like looksy so much but also I think I did a good job on this one I think he looks like him and he looks creepy and I like it so is all bad See you Monday. Yep, Monday. Also, should I do Sunny Family Cult next? Because I love Look See, but Sunny Family Cult is definitely number two for my favorite from Crypt TV. So, should I do the Sunny Family Cult next? Actually, not Sunny Family Cult. Should I do Taylor from the Sunny Family Cult next? Let's get specifics, okay? Should I do Taylor next? Because look see, turned out pretty darn good. Okay, bye.